Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit different in terms of video because these are going to be all men's fragrances, but these are going to be men's fragrances that I have in my collection that I actually enjoy wearing. So this is my top five men's fragrances or fragrances that are marketed for men that I happen to enjoy. So without further hesitation, let's get started. The first one I have is by uh, Givenchy or Givenchy. This one is called Pie. This one was released in 1999 and this one has top notes, um, like citrusy top notes, some lemon, some mandarin. It has some spices in there like basil, tarragon. Um, also has geranium, it has cedar wood, it has vanilla, tonka bean, almond, brown sugar. This one is just an all around yummy fragrance. Like it comes off, it starts out kind of like an orange blossom type of scent. And then as it dries down, I get like the spicy woody notes come out. And then I get the sweetness of the vanilla and tonka bean. Now it's not overly sweet. It's not just over the top. So I could see someone wearing this one in the spring or summer. But to me, this one is good because of the almond note that's in there. The almond just really comes through. And when the weather is a little warmer, the almond really is prominent and it's just absolutely delicious. Um, I feel like this company missed the boat on this one. I feel like this one definitely could have been marketed as unisex and they probably would have sold a lot more of this, but, um, nevertheless, this is a fantastic fragrance and it has decent longevity on me. I would say that it lasts anywhere from four to five hours and then it just becomes like a skin scent. Um, one thing I do want to mention though, as far as females buying men's colognes don't be afraid to do that and if you do happen to pick up a men's cologne and you first spray it and it smells just way more manlier if that's even a word than you think it's going to I suggest letting it dry down before you make your decision because I have actually I actually have some of my collection here that I don't really care for the opening on them they tend to be a little bit more masculine than I would like but the dry down is what's important that's what you're left with the opening does not last that long so if you start out with a fragrance that you just really don't care for if you'll give it just a little bit of time to dry down then you can kind of make your mind up this one starts out this one starts out gorgeous all the way around it starts out citrusy and it ends up a little bit floral, a little bit spicy. Then it turns into a like a woody, vanilla, oriental type of scent. So, yeah, and this happens to be a really old bottle. This batch code, um, I believe this batch code dates this one back to almost 12 years, 10 or 12 years. And you can see the top is tarnished. Um, but this one is kept in a very dark, cool location and its scent is to me just as wonderful as, as ever. So, um, yeah, so that is my number one and that is pie. The second one I have is Crypto Mint and this one is by Muggler and this one was released back in 2017 and it's already kind of hard to find this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Bond number no. nine, um, the Blecker Street, Bleecker Street, I believe it's called. But this one is more green and it's less sweet than that one. Um, this one does start out with a blast of almost menthol because it, it starts out minty with some sage. So those two notes together kind of come off a little bit medicinal. But like I said, if you'll give this one some time and let this one dry down a little bit, it turns into a very refreshing fragrance that I happen to enjoy. My husband enjoys it. I enjoy it. Um, this one also has base notes of patchouli, vanilla, and coffee, but I do not smell any coffee whatsoever with this. Um, it is just a very pretty green, minty, like I said, refreshing, energizing 
almost medicinal type of scent when you first spray it but um, like I said once you get past the initial blast it is super duper enjoyable this one does last a good while on my skin I would say this one lasts anywhere from four to five hours which is pretty good for a mint scent so yeah this one is crypto mint by muggler Next, I have one that unfortunately has been, been discontinued for quite some time now. This was the Gucci Pour Om 2. And this one, you guys, I've seen people try to get $300 for this. And while I do treasure this like crazy, there's no way I would pay $300 for it. I would pay $100 for it, but not $300 for it. This one's notes are bergamot and violet, hints of pimento, black tea, warm cinnamon, olive wood, tobacco, and then like there's some musky notes and some myrrh. I would consider this one a tea fragrance. Um, it starts out very light. I know people have a lot of issues with this one with the longevity on it and it, it is a little bit, I, would, I wouldn't call it weak. But I would say it's more of a closer to the skin scent. Um, definitely a spring and summer scent because it is that light tea fragrance. It's not going to be overwhelming by any means. This one to me starts off a little bit powdery. And then it ends up with a, I would say, a warm tea with a little tiny bit of tobacco in the background yeah I don't I don't really get that much cinnamon with this there's something that's warming this up but I don't I can't put my finger on the fact that yes this is a cinnamon scent because it's not definitely a tea scent um, but it's a spicier type of tea scent which makes it very enticing to me it's very different and before you lose your mind and say, quit showing me fragrances that have been discontinued, I will say this, if you love this fragrance or you, if you've been looking for it, or if you just want to try it, I promise you, if you go to Lucky Scent, and this is totally not sponsored, but if you go to Lucky Scent and request a sample of the Goldfield and Banks Blue Cypress, that is exactly what this smells like they smell identical to each other to me so i'm no longer like in a state of panic that this is going to be discontinued and i'm no longer going to be able to get my hands on it anymore because like i said the goldfield and banks fragrance is absolutely phenomenal if if nothing else it may be a slightly bit better because it lasts longer than this the notes are totally different. I've studied the notes on both. The notes are different, but somehow they just they just smell like each other. And like I said, the Goldfield and Banks last longer than this. This and even though this is an older bottle, some people might say, "Well, that one doesn't last long because it's it's old." True. This is probably about eight years old by now, and that could be part of the longevity issues with it. But I will say, even in the beginning when I bought this one, it, it really didn't have that much lasting power then, and it still doesn't. And I do see people complain about the longevity on this one as well. So if you like the fragrance, if you like this type of scent, the Blue Cypress um, by Goldfield and Banks is the way to go since this one is discontinued. The next one I have is, this one is... Le Homme Ideal, and this is by Guerlain. This one to me, you guys, just smells like a cozy sweater, like a cashmere sweater. It's more of a fall and winter type of scent to me. It's an amaretto uh, type of scent. This one has several notes in it. It has top notes of orange blossom, mandarin, lemon, bergamot, and rosemary. And then it has heart notes of vanilla, amaretto, with base notes of leather, patchouli, vetiver, and cedarwood. I don't really get a whole lot of citrus on the opening of this. I do get the orange blossom, but I do not get the lemon, which I'm so thankful for. Oh, it's just so good. Um, I get the orange blossom. I get a dab of rosemary, just meaning that there is some type of herbal vibe going on here with this but it doesn't last long it's these are top notes guys 
and then it dries down into the vanilla and the amaretto and then it goes straight into the woody um the woodiness it has the leather this is more of a dry patchouli in here it's not a wet patchouli this reminds me of a dusty patchouli almost like an 80s record store type of scent not incense but if you know what i'm talking about then you'll know what i mean oh it's just so good like i said this one is super cozy and it is more of a fall and winter scent and i want to say this one may have been reformulated or it may be discontinued or about to be discontinued either way um launched in 2014 and already been discontinued i mean that's sad so but you know it is still readily available it's easily obtained i've seen this one for like 40 or 50 dollars online on um, fragrance net or fragrancex.com there are several places that still have this um, so if this sounds intriguing to you or if you've been wanting to try it I say give it a try it is um it's a very pretty scent definitely unisex um i do believe it is it is uh, uh marketed toward men and i really hate that because i really think that if this one had been marketed unisex i do think that this one would have sold a lot more than it did the last one i have is by lilabo and this one is santal 33 and I actually have it in a discovery kit here that I got back in 2017. I no longer have a full bottle of this because I ran out. So I just grabbed this little sample from my sampler discovery kit. Um, this one has top notes of violet and cardamom, middle notes of iris and ambrox. And then it also has a woody type of leathery sandalwood base. Guys, people are all over the place with how they want to describe this one. If you look this up on Fragrantica, people say that this smells like a green type of fragrance. Some people do not smell leather at all. Some people, that is all they smell. This is one of those fragrances that you really don't know what it's going to smell like until you spray it on your skin and you wear it for a couple of times until you decide. For me, this is a, this is hard to describe, but it's on me. It is a powdery green clover type of scent. If you were walking through a field of clover that was wet early in the morning and you had on some brand new leather shoes and you're kicking through the clover and your shoes get wet, you know how your leather starts to smell even more leathery when it's wet? It also kind of takes on like a earthy tone as well, kind of musky. That's what this smells like to me. Um, on some people, they say it smells like paper. Some people say it smells like opening a package. Um, you know, it's all over the place. This is kind of like the Molecule 01. It just really depends on your skin chemistry. I think it depends on your expectation of what this is going to smell like. So again, it, this one is marketed for unisex. So this one is not technically marketed as a men's cologne, but I brought it into my top five because a ton of men like this and a ton of guys wear this. Uh, lots of ladies wear this too, but um, I do think that it leans a little bit more masculine, but um, nonetheless, I still love this this fragrance and i think that is this one is perfect for spring and summer as well so there you have it guys that is the roundup of my top five fragrances that are marketed for men that i happen to wear own enjoy and if you will drop me some comments down in the comment section below and let me know if you have any of these if you wear these or if there are um i'd like to know if there are any men's fragrances that you enjoy wearing um, drop that down there in the comments section below as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so before you leave and activate the notification bell so you'll know the next time I upload my videos. And until next time, guys, take care and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.